Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back to part 6, I believe. Um, and today we're going to be customizing this feed and basically turning this into our actual followers feed. So basically what I did just before I started recording this is basically clone my profile so we have another user to follow. Um, and now what we're going to do is basically just start implementing this. So... Hmm... I think what we'll do for now is just add this root right here. I might just put that in the post control. Okay. So what we're gonna do is post where has user function. Um, so we want to basically get the user of the post and we want to check if they have, if they are, f if we're friends with them. So I think we're going to need to clone this here. My mouse is broken. Uh, we'll change this, change it to followers because that's technically what we are, we're a follower. Um, change this to friend ID. And then we can query if we're the user ID. Um, okay, so where has user query? We're gonna need to pass the user down. Um, uh, query. Where has followers function? We'll have to do a queue use user queue where user ID was user ID. Okay, so that <coughs> should be our feed. Should. I see. Um, if all has gone well. Uh, so we'll just return a collection of our posts in the resource. I may want to format that. Um, Okay, um, and I think we should probably order by the creator. By descending. Um, and we should probably actually do... Uh, and include the actual user in here. Now we're probably going to need to check this with, um, we'll check it with Laravel um, debug bar just to make sure this query is right, but I think this is pretty bang on and I'm pretty happy about the way we're doing this. I'm not going to lie guys, I did some pre-thought and some pre-planning about how to actually do this query before stream and it took me a little while to figure it out, but um, I think... I haven't tested it with debug bar, but I think this is the good way to go about doing this. Like, otherwise, it's so hard to make the connection between the posts and the users who we follow, but this seems like it works perfectly. Um, so we do actually need to test this, but what we're going to do before we do that <clears throat> is... Hmm, let's create a new directory here for now and just call it feed. Um, and we'll create a new component in here. So I got an ETL <laughs> Um, and we'll just call this feed as well. And what we're gonna do, I also wanna create a, hmm, we'll do it in, f nah, we'll do it here. We'll just create a new view component and we'll call it post. And basically what we're going to do now is we're going to take this card and basically put that into here. 
And obviously there's not going to have that V4. Am I going to need a prop which is going to be post? So that doesn't depend on anything outside. We need to pat and make sure we pass that user in uh, to be sure. Let's go into app.js real quick. Might as well just click it here. And let's create this post component. Um, we'll also create our feed one. Um, now let's go back into here. Whoops. And we can delete that. <coughs> Excuse me. We still need to do change our endpoint with this, don't we? But we can do that at any point. Let's just compile. What is this error? Oh, it should have a key. Um, so now, yeah, when we visit the profile, it seems to be working. Um, but yeah, now we need to just quickly do our feed. So we're just going to go ahead and copy a couple of things from here. We might as well. No point writing it twice. <clears throat> um, what we're gonna do is make post an array like that. Actually, no, I'm not. Never mind. Um, and then we're just going to copy this here as well, since that is everything we need. Now, now we can go to home.blade and change this to feed. Okay, so right now that includes nothing. Um, let's see. I know why. Okay, so it's still listing nothing. Seems we've got an error here. So basically, I ran into a little issue here, and it was because I named the props variable prop rather than props. So make sure you guys change that so you don't get the same issue. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot, dudes. I'm an actual idiot. All that literally just because I missed an S. It's always the simple things. See, I'd be a fucking genius if it weren't for simple mistakes. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, so, there's no way to tell what user that's actually from right now. But what we can do now we have profiles is just turn this into an actual link quickly. So let's just... Yeah, there we go. So I'm user one. And that's uh, user two. That's their post. And I believe even if I post something, it should technically include me. But it's not going to. I know that for a fact. Um, yeah, see. It's that post. Um, <clears throat> but it should technically include me, right? I mean, it should. Hmm. I 
I don't know how I include uh, how I'd include myself. Um. Maybe I could do. Maybe it's this simple. Maybe. Like, if this returns false, then it may be a default to this, and if that returns false, then it's just not going to include it. Perhaps. Um, I think that seems to be working. Excuse me. Yeah, seems like it. <clears throat> so it was that simple, which is awesome. So that's great, guys. That's that's the feed out the way and done. Um, we need to do the small modification to the other components still. But what I want to do maybe next episode is do um is to sort out some like web sockets like um. Laravel Echo server and stuff and maybe make this work in real time so like if if the other Sam posts you know it'll instantly add it to our feed and highlight it or something maybe um we'll see if I can do that next next episode um but if not we might just add stuff like like and comment functionality on these posts to get out of the way and done whoops just back to my mic um but we'll see but until then guys thanks a lot for watching make sure to subscribe and make sure to click the notification bell guys i've never said this before but make sure you click it it helps <laughs> um to get in that squad but until then guys farewell and i'll see you next time